Hi, it's Dave again. I'm uh, just going to show you how to um, add some verifications for your domain to improve email deliverability, uh, or it could be linking um, landing pages that are in your CRM um, or just the emails in your CRM so you can see sent and replied emails in your CRM. Anyway, Here's an example I'll just give you here. This is uh, smartcoaching.com.au. And um, if you've got a agile CRM and you're looking for these settings, you go to your little icon in the top right hand corner and go to admin settings. And when you're in admin settings, you choose email settings in this case and put in the domain name and then it gives you the MX record, mail exchange record and the text records. And you can also add the C name records, which are these ones here. So we'll just go back to the text records and we'll show you how to do that. So this is, this is for um, emails that are uh, for your emails and domains that are control that are managed by FindNet solutions. So what we'll do is we'll jump to, I'll just jump out of here and I'll just show you how to get in. So what you need to do is go to your domain name, your website address in this or the domain name or website address and then forward slash C panel. And when you do, you'll end up here on, on uh, to log into your C panel. So with your administration administrators, um, username and password, um, to log into the hosting account. So we're going to log into the hosting account and we're going down to domains, and then zone editor. So in design editor, we'll just click on manage. And here's all the different settings that are here already. But the ones that we want to go to is we want to do an MX record with the host being this address here. So I'll just copy that. So I'll just go to MX. I'm going to add that here and go and add MX record. And let's go back and grab host. And this is the data type. It. So the type is MX, the host and the data. Let me just jump back here. Um, and there's the destination and priority. We'll set that to one. This is already zero here, so I don't think we can have two zeros. We'll add the record. Okay, and it's successful. Then what else we need to do? We need to go and add some text records. So we're going to add this one here, which is a SPF record. So an SPF record is a sender policy framework. Okay, so this uh, helps um, improve the email deliverability. Okay, so less of your emails ending up in the receiver's uh, spam folder or junk or not being delivered at all. So that's a text record. So we're going to go to and add a text record um we'll go to text records just so you, you can see and we're going to add a text record and that's the value as we saw here as we saw here and this is the B equals SPF. Oh, come on, copy. 
and that's going to be the record there and it is a text record so just make sure that you've got the right selected there and then you add the record okay and so you just keep working through those um, and this is the other one so well let's just add another text record we'll go back here and we're in text records anyway but we'll add a text record make sure it says text record here add the name in here which is the host name and then we grab this which is extremely long but we'll just grab it and paste it in here so just make sure you get the the start of it and the end of it and then you to add the record and it was successful and so that's done so and now we can it's going to take some a while for that just just to verify but we can also do the c name records oh we don't need to it's going to do those so um i hope that was helpful so when you get any uh, domain uh, records either for dkim or uh, for spf or anything like that um, to make your um, emails work better through a crm or an email program or landing pages within your crm or anything like that just to link your domain and the web in your website with um with your your domain name and email delivery you go to your control panel and to get to your control panel i'll just log out of here and i'll just refresh that for you is that you go to your url for your website or the domain name doesn't matter as long as you you're not going searching for it you put in there forward slash and then it's c panel because it's your control panel and in the control panel once you get here in this case we're not setting up an email or email forwards the only other thing you really need to do in here so don't go mess with anything else is your zone editor and when you're in here you can see all the different settings and you can look at each one the a the c name mx if rv and text records and to add them click over here add whichever it is add the right thing as in um, and you will notice that if it's your domain name there is always a dot at the end and if you domain name you might not see that in the records that you get because with some some domains they don't need the dot but um, with yours it will okay so that's it so when you're finished in your c panel your control panel um, which is sits in behind your website um, you must log out okay don't play with anything else in there that's it if you've got any other questions just uh, contact us at fine net solutions um, i'm dave i hope that was helpful talk soon